The join command will allow me to join similar objects to form a single unbroken object. There are specific circumstances that have to be met in order for the join command to work properly. I can activate the join command by taking it off of my tool, my tool panel. I can also type at the keyboard join or use its keyboard alias J to start the command. Let's look at some circumstances where we might use it. Here I have some line segments. I have this one has a gap in between and this ha are two line segments that overlap each other. In order for join to work in joining lines together they must be collinear. That means for these line segments all of the points have to be on the same y vector so that when they're extended they will meet each other. Um, I'm going to join these together so I'll hit J for my join and it wants me to select objects so I'm going to select these two that have a gap in between and when I hit enter you'll see that they've now joined into a single line segment. Now I have another line segment that is overlapping. We can join overlapping segments the same way. So it doesn't matter whether there's a gap or if they're overlapping. They just need to be collinear. Using the join command with circles and arcs means that I can join these arc segments together in this case to reform the circle. This has had some pieces trimmed out of it. Or to complete an arc in, back into a circle. In order to use my join command I'll start J to start and it's going to uh, join the segments in a counterclockwise direction. So I would click this arc segment first and then this second and it's going to join those together. Now if I wanted to close this circle, finish that last part, I'm going to uh, bring back my join command, click on the total circle with the piece missing, right click and say close. And that will close my circle and, and bring it back to one, uh, one line. Now if I have an arc and I wanted to close this arc, I could do the same thing. I'm going to bring back my join command, click on this arc, right click, and say close. To use my join command with elliptical arcs, first of all, the arcs have to be on the same elliptical path. So here I have an ellipse that's had some pieces trimmed out, and I want to join this back together to make one continuous uh, line that would form the ellipse. So I'm going to activate my join command and it works very similar uh, as with circles. First I'll select this section because it's going to join counterclockwise then this section and I'll hit enter and it joins those two segments together. To close my elliptical arc um, I'm going to bring back my join command, select uh, this ellipse with the piece missing, right click and tell it to close. To use the join command to join polyline segments they need to meet certain requirements. I have two polyline segments here and I want to join them together. You'll notice that these two segments share a common endpoint and they don't overlap each other. Under these circumstances they can be joined using the join command so I'll say J to activate join. Choose the two line segments and when I hit enter you can see that I've created one continuous line segment. Now here I have a polyline and a regular line and I'd like these two line segments to be joined together to form one continuous polyline. As long as they share that same common endpoint and don't overlap, I can use my join command and I have to pick the polyline first as the source and then pick the regular line. And when I hit enter, I've now con uh, created a continuous polyline out of those two segments. You'll notice I lost my spline and I would have to respline the polyline in order to get it back. 
Now, in other circumstances, say I have an arc and a polyline, and I want to join those two together. Um, again, they have to have a common endpoint. And I have to pick the polygon first, and then the arc. With that done, the arc and the polyline um, join to form one continuous polyline. 